Hi guys, this is Mama Sue, and today we're going to do some dangly earrings. Check these out. These are my newest dangles. Oop. See there? Let me show you the two of them together. These are my newest dangly earrings, and I just love them. I love the different layers and the dangles hanging down. Um, now, I've already got the, the, the turquoise done, but so this next one we're going to make in red. See there? Okay, let's get started on this. I'm going to leave this one out as a, a reference to remind me how to make them. <laughs> and then... This is all we're going to need. What I have here is I have, I've already pre-cut these, but let me show you how I cut them. I bought some of these um, pins that have a, a circle on the tip. You can get the flat ones if you want the flat ones, but I, I thought these were prettier. I thought these looked prettier on these. It really showed up having that little ball at the end. See how that see how the balls are at the ends? It looks really cute like that. So I went ahead and got these kind uh, for this project. And then I cut them to where they would stagger. I cut them all at the same time so that I wouldn't have to worry about trying to match the layers later. So here we go. We've got we got a center one here. And then we've got these two that are the same size. And then I have two more that are a little bit smaller to go on both sides. See how I have that? Now what I'm going to do is when I put them on the necklace, when I put these little dangles on, I'm going to just put a little circle I'm going to uh, take the pliers and put little circles in them, and they'll all meet up at the top like this. So what you can do is just go ahead and cut it in the shape that you would like, um, like it in uh, before you even get started so that you have a nice setup ready to go. So now, and then, and then I have... This bead here, and that's going to have a bead cap on each side of it. Here's the bead caps I'm using. I thought these were quite pretty, so I decided to use these. They're really thick, too. These are nice ones. And then, these little pieces, these are little spacers. That's what you're seeing right here. These are little spacers. And all you need is three of those, or four of those. You need four of those, like little tractor wheels. And these are my spacers here. I'm going to give you a close-up. I got these ones on eBay. I got them for a pretty good price. I don't remember exactly what it, what it was, but I got a really good price on them. And you'll see them quite often on there in big batches. Uh, but I'm sure they have small batches, too. You know, if you don't want to go uh, that route of getting the big one. And then I need one of these wires has to be to go in the, to go through this. You're going to put a circle at the bottom here. Let me show you with the pen. You'll put a circle right there at the bottom. Then you'll put your bead cap on, your bead, and then your other bead cup in the other direction. And then you'll, you'll put another circle and just wind, wrap that, wrap your wire around the edge. And that's how you're going to complete that. And then we've got one piece of... Where is it? I'm missing a piece of wire. We have one piece of wire that's supposed to go right here. And my piece of wire is missing. Well, I'll get it out of something else. Or hang on a second. I've got wire right here. 
it's just ordinarily I like to use the same wire that that I start with and I'm not sure what kind of wire this is I'm Oh, I think that is that wire. But George, I think we got it. I'm not going to use that. I think this is the one that I used. Because if you'll notice, I forgot. On the bottom, it's already um, curled there. And so we'll start with that piece right there. Just so you know what what we're doing here and I don't get y'all confused like I just got myself okay we take this one this one has the the this is an eye needle uh, an eye pen and you can find this at Walmart or any craft store in the jewelry department and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this big uh, the 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 beats the spacer I mean the um, bead cover we're going to put on then we're going to put the bead I like putting bead covers on this kind of a bead because see how dark this is an acrylic bead here but but they're really pretty ones because they look glassy um, but because they have this big dark space on them so I like to put a bead cover because it hides everything you see now it looks like a pretty piece of glass I use a lot of glass beads in my work, but I really like these the colors that these these ones come in. You can find those at Walmart. I've seen them in other places too, and you can get them online. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, uh, get out my. What you're going to need is you're going to need these, your round nose. You're going to need your nippies, and you're going to need your flat uh, flat nose also and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right in here like this and I'm gonna bend it straight over toward you just like that see there and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna pull my pliers up to the top and I'm gonna bring the wire back over now it's not going to go all the way around, so I need to move my pliers a little bit so that I can finish turning it around. Now I've got it all the way around. See there? Now I'm going to put it up next to the other one to make sure I've got it sized right. This one is... That's almost, almost there. i got to tighten that just a little bit more. But you can tell when you put them up to each other, and that's the only time you're going to have the chance to do that when you're making this part of the earrings. Okay, now let me put those back together and see what we've got. Okay, now they're the right, they're the right length, but I need to make that circle just a little bit smaller. And what I do to do that is I bring it out closer to the tip. And I just turn it. And that made that hole a little bit smaller. Okay, now if I put it together, I'll bet you it's the same size. There's the bottom, there's the top. Check that out. It's pretty darn close. Okay, now that I've gotten that far, I want to hang on to just the the circle part. I, I like these I like these round nose because they've got a little flat place on it too. So I don't have to always have my flat nose pliers near me. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna grab onto that just like that. And then I'm gonna start wrapping this around and around. And I'm going to hold onto the bead. It's it rolls with my fingers, and it's support for my hand for my fingers when I'm turning it. See how I'm turning it? Now 
I'm going to keep turning that until it stops on me. Then I'll cut the excess off. Now most of the time you can do this with your fingers. Unless you get a wire that's way too hard. I did that on one of my videos. Now I'm going to cut the excess off. See the excess on there? I'm cutting that right off. And hang on to it so you don't let it fly through the air. You don't want it in your feet. Now there's a little bitty piece left on there. If you can see that. Can you see that? I don't think you can see it. It's right here. There's a little bitty piece right here that I'm just going to squash down with my flat nose pliers. So I don't need that sticking out like that catching in my hair or anything like that. Now that that is darn near there. Now let me put these up to each other. I want to show you how close they came out. I'm trying to get it up there. Well there's the bottom part. And there's the top part. Uh, it's a little bit big. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to twist that just a little bit more. Let me get a hold of this and twist it a little bit more. Oops, don't want to use my cutter. I'm just going to get a hold of that. I'm going to twist it just a little bit more so I can try to make it a little smaller. I would like it just a little bit smaller. I can without wrecking it. Okay, let me check and see if this is closer. Well, that's close enough. That's close enough. It's the same height, but the hole's a little bit bigger. But that's all right. That won't show a whole lot. Because when I get done with it, it won't show much. Besides, it's on different ears. Now I gotta make sure that one side's flat and one side is straight out. What I mean by that is this one goes around this way, well the one on the bottom has to go the other way. So I wanna make sure I get that right where it needs to be. Oh, I just broke that. Let me do that again. Well, it happens. Let me grab another one out of here. Oh, here's a better one. See, I had one of the hard ones. The hard ones are just a pain. Okay, let me fix this now. Okay, I'm going to put that on again. The bead cap, the bead, and the bead cap the other way. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my, just so that you really know how to do this too. Let me get that closer. Okay, I'm going to push that toward you. Just like that. See how I pushed it toward you? Now I'm going to bring it up to the top. And I'm going to turn this top. Now I can't go all the way, so I'm moving my, my pliers a little bit. And now I'm finishing going around. There we go. Now I'm going to put them together again. Oh, I think I did it just right that time. Trial and error. This normally comes out pretty good, but I've been grabbing the wrong... Uh, pins lately. I I use the hard ones when I'm doing uh, like ear wires, but I normally use a softer wire when I'm doing the wrapping. Now I'm just wrapping. I, I'm holding on to this because this moves. So that'll move right with my fingers. See there? Now that's done. Now all I got to do is trim that off. At least I showed you right this time. 
and then I'm going to squash that little piece in. That little piece is just hanging out. Yep. There's just a little piece there that I don't like sticking out. Okay, now the top and the bottom have to be in the opposite directions. And that's what I'm doing right now putting it in the opposite directions. Now, as you see, the bottom is going this way and the top is going this way. So that's ready to go. Now we have this ready for when we're done with everything and it's ready to put on. I'm gonna set that right there. Now we're gonna go to the next part. We're gonna come down here and make a little, a little round place here. So I am going to take I'm going to get a different wire for this. I don't like this one. I like them a little I'm trying to see what kind of wire I use. Yeah, this is what I used. Okay, now I am going to just kind of bend this wire a bit. Just like this. I want to see how big it is. I made this earring a while back, but I haven't gotten it on. So I'm just kind of guessing as I go. I'm looking at it and saying, ah, oh, I thought I had everything in the bag. I'm sure I did, but I was going through things and I dropped some of my stuff. And you know how everything gets mixed up when you... Now that is, oh, that's going to be perfect. Okay, now, as you see on here, I've got two little beads, two little silver seed beads, and then I've got one regular size seed bead, and then we go right into the smallest little dangle. But, before I do this, I better make my dangles. Okay, here's my little one. And on each of the dangles, all I have is one of these red beads, just like that. And I have one of the seed beads, the big seed beads, just like that. And then I close up the top with a small circle. So I'm going to put that right at the tip of my metal, and I'm going to start turning it, and turning it, and turning it until it touches the other, up, oh, it touched the other side. Now, I need that to go up just a little bit more. If I can get my tool under there, there we go. I'm turning it, turning it. Now it's touching the metal. See how it touched the metal right there? Now I'm going to bend it back the other way just a little bit. Just like that, just to, to make a little eye on it. That's all I need on that. It's just that little eye. Now that's one of the dangles completed. That's one of the dangles completed. Let me move this camera up just a little bit. Okay. Now let's go with the other five. Here's the other small one. One of the red beads, one of the big beads, big seed beads. And then we want to keep that circle kind of small because this one, these ones are kind of small. And I went right about here. If you mark your pen, I mean, if you mark your, your pliers with a pencil, You'll be able to see where that place is that you went. You can make everyone perfect. But I kind of eyeball. I'm just so used to doing it that I just kind of eyeball it. Now that came out pretty close just by eyeballing it. And then here's the big one. The red one. And there we go. That's all I'm doing on each one of these. So I'm just putting a... A red bead and a big seed bead. 
and I'm trying to keep the, the holes around the same size. If it's a little bit smaller, I just come back and open it a little bit. Well, there we go. I got that one. Ooh, let me close that a little bit more. I just want to make sure it doesn't come off. There's the big one. Now all we got to do is these two smaller ones. The ones that are a little bit bigger than that. That one. And this one. Just like that. Now I'm going to just put that little round circle again. Remember how I did that? I'm grabbing a hold of it just by the very little tip. You can't even feel it. And you start turning. And you turn till you hit the other side. Now I hit the other side. See, I, I hit the other side. Then I just pull it back a little. And scrunch it. I'm going to scrunch that just a little bit more in there. So I want to make sure that doesn't come off. Here's that one. And here's the last one. I'm getting a hold of that tip. Like this. And I can't feel it. But I'm turning it. And I'm turning it. And it just hit. Now I'm going to grab the, as close as I can to where it hit and pull back a little. See how that came out? And I squash it a little, just like that. Now if I line these up, I won't get confused. So I'm going to line these up. The smallest to the biggest. so that there's no confusion. Now I like the open part to always go toward the back. And you can tell when you look at them, when you have them in front of you, it's hard for you to see it, but um, I can see it really well. Now I notice, well, oh, there it is. I thought I was missing a bead. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start beading this part. We're going to start putting those beads. We're going to put the two little seed beads. Then we're going to put a big seed bead. Then we're going to start with the smallest um, dangle. And then, then a spacer between each one as we go. And we're going to do them in line. So here's my, here's my wire. And I'm going to pick up two seed beads. Okay, I picked up the two. Then I'm going to pick up a big one. And then what do we do from there? We go right to the smallest seed bead. And I'm going to stick that on just like that. Then I'm going to get a spacer bead. Put that on there. Let me move these back so they don't get in the way. And then I go to the next size. Now I told you I'm putting these all toward one side, so I'm, the opening's going toward the back, toward you. I'm putting them on like that. Then I've got the big one, but I've got to put a spacer first. And then a big one. Then a spacer. See how simple this is? And another one. Oop, I almost went backwards. And then it does kind of show when you when you're not going, when you don't have it going on the right direction. It does kind of show. I it does to me because I'm the one making it. Now I have all of them on there, and now I go back to a seed bead, the big seed bead. Just like that. Then I go to the two small seed beads. 
Let me just take it down there and grab those two seed beads. There's one, and there's two. Now I've got all of my beads on there. Now all I gotta do is the twisty right here on the top. Now, because the twist, everything was going back toward you. This, this is the back, this is the front. The opening on this side is right here, so the opening on this side has to be on this side. So I'm gonna start twisting that. Till it touches the other side. Oh, it's already there. Then I'm gonna come back, move it up a little. Then I'm gonna check and see if the size is all right because if the size is not all right, I can still change it at this point. Now, see what we got there. Oh, that's pretty darn close. When I get the bead on, when I get that ring on there, it's going to close it up some and it'll be just right. Now, this was just using one of those pins. That's what I used. Um, let me show you. This was just one of these pins right here. I used the whole pin to make that little arch there. That was the whole pin. And I just tried to make the opening close to the same as the other side when I, um, when I put that. So I put it on the tip of my pliers to make sure they would come out pretty close. Now that one's a little bit smaller, but it, but it won't show because it's going the other way. Now what we're going to do is we have to get this this ring on here, that ring right there that you see, right there. That's what we're working on now. Now these are the tricky ones. These are the ones that are like keychains. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a hold of it. You're going to pull it straight out and turn it and hang on tight. You don't hang on tight, that's going to pop off and fly through the air. But I like these because they won't break on you. They'll stay nice. You won't lose your jewelry. A lot of people like to use the other ones, but at this point, I think I, I really think this is the only ones I use anymore. They're a little bulkier, but they're, but they're really good. Now, I am going to stretch this out a little bit so it matches the other side. Let's see, I'm bending it down and I'm bending it sideways. I'm just moving it a little, just little bends here and there with the, with the pliers. I'm going to take this down a little bit more. Now, let me see if that's getting close to the other one. Looky there. Is that pretty close? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to hook your other piece on. That's this one here. The other one was hooked on at the bottom. So that's the part you're going to hook on down here because the top is longer and you don't want it to look funny. If you put it this way, it would look funny because one side is longer and one, one side shorter. See, because we wrapped one side and the other side we didn't wrap. So you're not going to want to go that route. So I'm going to open this back up again and stick on this last bead. Let me find the opening to this keychain this miniature dollhouse keychain. <laughs> That's what you could use it for. Now I'm going to hook it on there to the long side. See it's on there? Now all you got to do is turn it until it clicks. When it clicks you got it on there. Just make sure you don't un 
take your let your wire start coming back off. You do have to watch for that. Oh, there it is. Okay, now that one's on there, see? Now, I'll show you better when I get the earring top. Now the only thing you've got left is the wire at the top. I've got that right here. On these wires that are store bought the opening is, is always seems to be right here on the bottom. Even on these sterling silver ones. This one's a sterling silver one. Oop, I want it to go on. I gotta make sure that that goes on the other way because that's the back. And the way I knew it was the back is because I can see the openings on these. See that opening there? I could see that. I knew that was the back. I want that to be in the back so it doesn't show when you're wearing it. And then we're going to close it. Oh. Just take a hold of that and I bring it down like this and I just kind of snug it into place right there. And then a little squish. And there you go. That's all there is to that beautiful earring. And let me show you what we got here. I always love showing you the finished products together. Look how close those came out. <coughs> there you go. Grab a cough drop. <coughs> and then here's the blue ones. And there's my long, fancy danglies. Okay, you have a good day and God bless. Thanks for watching.